What's up guys and welcome to today's video. We are back in the kitchen. And today, I'm gonna be satisfying your sweet tooth. I'm sure a lot of you have sweet tooth. I know I definitely have one big one. In fact, every single one of my teeth in here is craving sugar quite a lot of the time. So, I'm gonna try and keep it healthy for you guys and give you some ideas of some very easy recipes that you can prepare to satisfy your sweet tooth and not get you fat, because we don't wanna get fat, do we? So, starting off with recipe number one, classic old school protein balls. We're gonna use these ingredients. We have some my protein triple nut butter, along with some sugar-free maple syrup. We also have some oats, some protein powder, the protein part is really gonna dictate the flavor of the protein balls. So I would probably recommend vanilla. Today we've got strawberry. So they're gonna be a bit strawberry vibery. Vibery? So they're gonna have a strawberry vibe. And we've also got some flax seeds and some chia seeds. So we're gonna mix everything together. Wow. There we go. You're gonna have to get a spoon out. Now, unfortunately, I am gonna have to mix this all together by hand. Once upon a time I made protein balls and tried to blend it all in a blender. But as we can see, that's not gonna blend very well, is it? Because it's way too dry. <laughs> Looks like cat shit in the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> very accurate description. Ooh, I can smell the strawberry already from the protein balls. We're getting there, the peanut butter and the syrup is gradually sticking to all of the dry powdery substances. I'm gonna use the second hand. Oh, there we go. So everything's pretty well mixed, if I do say so myself. However, it's looking pretty dry, and I'm, I've got a feeling it's not gonna stick. So I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture to the mix. There we go, it's feeling more sticky now. It's like when you're a kid and you're making a snowball. The snow needs to be like the perfect type of snow for it to stick together in a proper ball so you can pelt it at someone's face. So I think now we're ready to turn these into balls. Don't want them too big. Tech is on the ball rolling. Just this kind of motion. Circular motion with your hands, and there you go, you've got a ball. One ball down. It's really up to you the size of the balls. I mean, like, I'm a big guy, so I like big balls. But if you like smaller balls, then make them small. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually potentially too big of a ball. When you pick up the uh, mixture, before you start rolling it into balls, just like squeeze everything together so you get rid of the air pockets. Because if you've got big, giant air pockets, it's not really gonna stick into a ball very well. Large ball. Largest ball of the day. My balls are getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it whenever I do a meal prep video, I just make the biggest mess? And with the final ball, what I'm gonna do is just, almost like it's blue tack, just press it against the bottom of the bowl so I can pick up all the remaining dust. Nice, the final ball, complete. So what you can do, once you've prepared all the balls, is put them in the fridge, somewhere cold, and then leave them for a couple of hours, or, if you're a very impatient, hungry man like me, then you just put them in the freezer for 15 minutes and then they are ready to eat. The next one is gonna be banana ice cream. Or we can call it Chunky Monkey because we're gonna be adding some nuts into the mix as well, so very simple recipe. We've got some sliced bananas which have been in the freezer, so they're frozen. We have some my protein triple nut butter, and we have some pecan nuts which have been nicely crumbled. So what we're gonna do, put it in a blender, blend it all up. We want it to be nice and thick. And then we're gonna put it in here, and then put it in the freezer. Of course, need some assistance again. Add the nut butter. We'll add a little bit. Just wanna make sure it's not gonna be too thick. If it's too runny, it's not gonna have that ice cream texture. I want it to be like creamy, if you know what I mean. So, let's see if this works. Of course it's gonna work. It's me, cooking it. When that happens, you need to add some more moisture. Take number two. Wow, it's doing all sorts of things. I'll put it on a slow blend. As the banana melts a little bit, I think it's gonna blend even better. Speed it up! Oh God, we have an error. <laughs> Ooh, smelling a bit burny. Ah, I think that's done. 
The idea is for it to be this thick, so that if I put it over my head, it's not going to fall on my head, okay? <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> wow, that looks pretty damn good. It's like ice cream already. The temptation to lick all of this is very high right now. So I would generally say if you have a weak blender that's not very powerful, then uh, you're going to probably need to make it more runny. But this one did pretty good. I would probably say this is perfection. Mm. I have a feeling that banana tastes so much sweeter when it's frozen. I don't know why. Like when you eat a banana normally, you just peel the skin off and eat and it's like, yeah, boring banana. But when it's frozen, it's just like, it's like it releases all of its flavors. You don't need to add any more sweet ingredients to this because it's sweet enough. I'm just gonna push it all down. Oh yes. Delicious. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some pecan nuts onto it. There we go. So then we're gonna put the container on it and then just let it freeze. Ah! The next one is a high protein berry crumble. I say the term high protein loosely because it's not gonna be like really high protein, but it's probably got more protein in than your average crumble. We've got some very simple ingredients here. Frozen berries, we've got blueberries, strawberries here, and then we have some crispy oats cereal. And we've got the protein powder again. The strawberry flavor is definitely gonna work quite well with this one because it's a big berry mix. So <clears throat> I've put a scoop of protein in here, some cereal. First thing we're gonna do is add the berries to the base of a glass cooking dish. Da, 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 da. Should we use the whole pack? Go on then, let's use the whole pack. And then we're just gonna add this on top. If you do have like a big container like this, obviously you're gonna have to double up with the serving sizes. But if it's a smaller one, you don't need to. And then with this one, we're actually not gonna put it in the freezer for a change, we're gonna put it in the oven. So the oven is preheated at 3000 degrees centigrade. 180! I'm gonna put it in. And then we wait for 20 minutes. The final one is an overnight berry cheesecake. And praise the Lord, it's a very simple recipe once again. We have some nut milk here. If you want it to be on the sweeter side, then I do recommend the vanilla one. It tastes delicious. We've got some oatmeal, strawberries, some low fat yogurt, and my protein, sugar free syrup. What we're gonna do is just gonna put it all into a jar and shake it up. So I'm just hoping I'm off this. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I guess speed is the factor here. Oh God. Not the best, but it was all right. The spork is not necessary in this recipe, unfortunately. No spork action today. It's a very delicate process, this is. Ah, oh, and he got impatient, didn't he? He got impatient. <laughs> Let's put the strawberries in. And that is the yogurt and the syrup. And now, we're gonna mix. That's so good to see sounds. There we go. Now we're just gonna put it in the fridge. Easy. Wow. The sound. That is everything. I'm just adding some extra berries to the overnight cheesecake. Wow, 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 it's a good job I'm hungry. Everything is looking pretty damn good to me. Now it's time, best part of the video, to test it all. I have my Latvian amigos with me for a second opinion. Whee! So let's first try the protein balls, shall we? I'll get a big one because I'm a big guy. That's good. You can definitely taste the strawberry essence from the protein. I would probably say chocolate protein powder or vanilla protein powder or banana protein powder would go best with these. Your turn. Thick and sticky, aren't they? <laughs> Dry. <laughs> it's a protein ball. But I think what would have been perfect is to add some like really juicy dates into it. Juicy yeah. dates would definitely add some more moisture. They are nice, but too too dry for me. Yeah, I give that. Six out of ten. <laughs> 
This looks very good. My grandma used to make the best apple crumble. So let's see if this compares. Hey, I've not cut it in the best way, have I? Spork. Yes. Let's go. Ah, oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it sweet? Mm -hmm. I knew we didn't need to add any more sweetener to it because the, the, the type of cereal we use is already quite sweet. And obviously the berries are reasonably sweet. And that was good. That's my favorite type of thing because you get like the juiciness of the fruit and the crunch from the cereal and it's warm. If we added the ice cream to it, that could be quite interesting. Mm. Put the banana ice cream on top. Mmm. Mm. I like it, dude. <laughs> I like it. It's very good. The taste is so nice. Wow. It reminds you of the old cookies. Rate this. With the ingredients we use and the overall aftermath, the results, I'd give it 8 out of 10. I would say the same, yeah. It's really tasty. Very good. Oh, it's a bit moorish. Eat all of it. Overnight berry cheesecake. I mean, if I was making this myself, I would just eat it from the jar. Mmm. Definitely a yogurty vibe. Doesn't really remind me of a cheesecake, but <laughs> it's still pretty damn good. Mmm. It's definitely a good option for Kern sweet cravings. Not as good as the crumble, but it's still pretty. Actually, do you know what? The problem is, having this after the crumble is it's difficult because that has set the standard so high and has literally pleasured my tongue so much that this has got a lot to compete with. So I'm sure if I'd had this after a savory meal or I hadn't really had anything sweet all day and I was craving something sweet, this would have a lot more impact. Definitely better than boring old oatmeal or boring old Greek yogurt. But it has the Mr. Miracle. It's not bad, Georgie. I like this. After that, that has texture and flavor crunch. and everything. Yeah, the crunch. This is a little bit more on the downside. Seven out of 10. Banana, nut, chunky monkey ice cream. Mm. Straight from the tray. Mm. That is as good as normal ice cream. Bananas are ridiculously sweet. That is so good. Nine out of 10 for me. Because it was in the blender, it's come out so creamy as well. And of course, the crunch on top from the pecans. Time for you. It's time for me. Let's pretend it's like ice. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so cold. It is so good. <laughs> Brain freeze, right? Nothing to freeze. <laughs> it's literally just bananas and peanut butter. And that's it. You can add whatever. You can add cocoa powder, whatever you want. It's mm. so good. That is just a simple, very effective recipe. Is it better than your mash? Though? Right, so this is what I make. This is like the, the, the lazy man's version. <laughs> just mash some banana on a plate. And <laughs> don't laugh. And then I add some berries and peanut butter and I just like eat it. And like it's just really nice, it's really tasty. But that is superior because of the way it's blended. Obviously, we've added some peanut butter into it, the blend. Oh, so, I guess we won't be making this anymore. But if you follow the channel, He's gonna do a video about that. Yeah, I mean, it's a complex recipe, that one. Too complex for this video. So yeah, that was my, my quick selection of healthy desserts which you can make, which will no doubt cure your sweet craving. Maybe not that one. I mean, actually, that one will glue your mouth together so you won't be able to eat anymore. So that will actually do a good job. But everything else, unbelievable. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you have done. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.